Welcome to Celebrating Act Two. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life. Hey, Art, it's good to see you again. Um, virtually speaking, of course. Good, good to see you, John. And here's a, a, a hug. hug. We're doing a virtual <laughs> hug. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay. Pat on the back. Good, do good to see you. That's a man hug. Yes. Right. Man hugs are different than lady hugs. Uh, I'm not sure. Not in, how... the, not in this world of uh, physical distancing. Okay, <laughs> which we have bridged the the uh, wait, 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 wait. we've bridged the gap. Bridged the gap. The other way, other way. We'll get this right. Oh, hello. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the reason I mention that is because uh, I have just recently gotten an invitation to one of my older granddaughter's uh, uh, graduations. Hmm. And it, it's a virtual, let me see if I can hold this up for you, help us celebrate. Oh yeah, nice. Maggie and Isabella are, are doing a joint graduation at, uh, at my granddaughter's house. But let me read it to you. Uh, there's gonna be a taco truck outside the house. And it says, we understand everyone has uh, their own comfort level in for socializing right now. So we'd love to celebrate with you however you feel safest. You can send the girls a wave from your car, say hi, and go grab a taco dinner to go, or stay a while in the park and eat and catch up with us six feet apart of course well you know what so, you know what most people won't see this for a couple uh, maybe a week or so uh, yeah. but you and i know exactly when it's happening and that's happening today right no it's uh this week later this week later this week well i'm in mission or, viejo so send, or, next, or next week i think send me yeah, send week. me the information I won't, I won't tell anybody else about it and, you and, and we'll drive by and say we know grandpa john and and grandma penny and then go <laughs> grab some food and get out of there <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i thought that was a, 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 a an interesting way to do a virtual event uh in in this day and age but you know I, this stuff is is becoming more and more common right um you were we were talking earlier you mentioned that for passover you had a seder uh on uh, a virtual seder uh, how many people i I think it was like over 30, and normally we never get more than 18 people in a room, physical room. Right. And it was in multiple, yeah. it went all the way from, we had uh, people participating from Australia uh, wow. to Iowa and Idaho, and uh, and as far north as the uh, state of uh, Oregon. Uh, wow. And uh, That's great. I may have missed a, a country or a state, but we never would have had. And all people that we, we uh, care about and we love uh, that we rarely get to see at sure. this kind of event, which is normally a more closer family event of people who live nearby. Uh, right. So, yeah, no, that was terrific. And we were on for about uh, three hours. And uh, the, the kids finished what they were doing. They went off and we just shared stories and uh, it worked out very well. Yeah. yeah, my brother, uh, we had a, a, my my niece organized a, a birthday party for my brother, a virtual birthday party. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was, I don't know, two weeks ago or something like that. And um, it, it was very funny because it was all old people, all people our age. Mm -hmm. and, and nobody knew how to use Skype or Zoom. So everybody was talking at the same time. Right. Nobody understood anything. Then it would all go silent for a minute while everybody figured out who should be talking. Well, for the, la the last several weeks, uh, you talk about uh, people who are not, maybe never got to use these uh, virtual meeting uh, uh, programs uh, uh, while they were in work because uh, many many of them are retired, unlike right. us who are we're just going to keep going like the Energizer Bunny, or at least I am. You, you, I know, maybe 15 years from now you're going to slow down, but I've got this 25-year rolling plan. Okay. Well, look, you're at the beach every day. Absolutely. Right behind you, right, Crystal right, Cove. I love right it. now, and I, you know how I muzzle the sounds of the wind and the water, so I'm getting pretty good at this. But um, uh, for the last, uh, I'd say, seven weeks. I've uh, practiced Tai Chi maybe three or four, sometimes even five days a week with online 
Tai Chi classes from oh, two of good. my instructors who were uh, teaching an emeritus program. And of course, they all shut down because they're all physically done together. And uh, they put it up and some of them had anywhere from 15 to 75, 80 people. And mm. during the first couple of years, a couple of sessions, until they figured out how to mute all the microphones, which causes people to come in and destroy the little, sure. or learn how to pin the instructor to the screen so that somebody else can't come in and disturb it. But within two or three weeks, okay, there's none of that. Just people have adapted. And in fact, we have a week off right now. And then we start up again. I'm, I've been enrolled for seven classes. I'll probably only stay with four of them. But I like to get in like one or one a day. It would be nice. And I never used to practice more than three times a week. So um, the world has changed. Uh, quite it a bit. is. And, it's, you know, it's not going to change uh, this practice of virtual events. Mm -hmm. I don't think it's going to go away because it is so convenient. Uh, we may not be using it as much for people who live next door, you know, or, or family nearby. But think about, as you said, you had people from half a dozen states and countries for the Seder. Uh, how can you how can you not want to repeat that every every chance you get? Correct. And the same thing for my brother's my brother's birthday. Um, there were pe he's in Oregon. We're in California. He had relatives in Iowa and New York. Um, same thing. You'd never get those people together. Uh, they couldn't fly around for birthdays. So uh, this is going to, it's not a, it, it's kind of new, but it's not going away. And, you know, also like this afternoon, um, we got a, a, an invite to a virtual birthday celebration for a cousin who uh, we adore. Uh, he's actually, uh, I guess it's a first cousin once removed, but the son of the son of very close uh, cousins. Uh, who we always get together with, um, you know, once or twice a year and really enjoy seeing each other. And it, I think it's a milestone, probably his 40th or something. And at four o'clock this afternoon, there's going to be a virtual uh, party that will not only include all of our family, uh, my, my sister and my cousins and on my mother's side of the family, but... Um, will probably include a lot of his friends that we wouldn't normally get to see if we gathered, let's say, at my sister's house. So That'd be great. that's great. But you were also talking about um, not just these virtual celebrations, uh, which basically have helped to cut down the uh, the, bar the, the the disappointments of uh, uh, that come with the uh, uh, the lack of touch of, of a hug, of uh, the uh, the physical distancing that we they call it social distancing but it's really physical distancing right uh that we've had to uh, put up with and i i miss that and but i don't know that we're really going to get back to that for a year and a half to two years that's my personal opinion until vaccine is widespread but uh you were also talking about uh, your granddaughter uh where basically it's a drive-by and yesterday my grandson well, who turned eight uh yeah. a string of cars in the morning with balloons, signs, and, and presents to be unloaded from the back of their vehicles. Um, That's great. Went back and forth up the street, about eight or ten cars at various points, uh, beeping the horn, and they had, <clears throat> it was, was prearranged, they had four uh, chairs for uh, my son and daughter and uh, their two kids, uh, Madden, who just turned eight, and, and Lane, were all there, and they they were just having a good old time, having us come by and, and recognize the birthday. So, uh, that was done uh, in sort of in person with physical distancing. So we sort right. of found ways to turn the lemons into lemonade. Yeah, yeah, and I think you know we're in the process. I keep hearing on the news we're in stage this or stage that of uh, I don't know what they call opening it up and going going back to quote normal. Um, you and I are a good example. We have practiced social distancing to different degrees. Uh, we practice stay at home to different degrees, maybe in different ways. And I think what's happening, witness my granddaughter's uh, um, notice, is what's happening, they're going to do this in a park. And so the park is right next to their house. They're going to have a mix. They're gonna, you can drive by if you want. You're going to get out and come into the park. And I, I see a lot more uh, people really pushing the envelope 
to get together physically. And uh, I, so I don't think that's going to change. People right. want to get together physically. But I think the other side of the coin is that the virtual get together is not going to go away either. So I think it's a good thing. We can, you can have both. Right. And everybody can choose to be as distant as they want or be in touch as they want and uh, and get together because we have to get back to physical. Also, John, because I know that you you like to uh, you like to see progress being made. <clears throat> of where you know I'm I'm <clears throat> teachable. Uh, uh, so I had a conversation with a, a very close cousin who actually lives one, not only uh, uh, personally because we, we, we grew up in the same house together, <clears throat> but we're only uh, maybe five, six miles apart. And we used to meet at least once a week to play backgammon on Saturday mornings. And he's going under some treatment for some issues that he's dealing with. And he really can't be exposed to, to germs. And of course, the coffee shops that we used to meet at are haven't been available to have people meet there anyway right. but they have a uh, a, a, a patio uh, behind the house and they have a side gate and they have begun to have some of their grandchildren and children visit from time to time they have to be distanced everybody wears a mask and they're at opposite ends of the patio and we'll probably wind up going over there in um, uh, the next week or so, uh, for a nice visit. We haven't seen them in a while. I speak to him all the time, but uh, even being in a close proximity is going to be nice, and I miss that. And in fact, yeah. I, in fact, I'm thinking of um, maybe in the next couple of weeks, uh, I, a lot of my Taiji people that I practice with on Sunday uh, go to the beach at uh, seven in the morning, and they're done by eight, eight fifteen. And we generally go out for coffee afterwards, and we won't do that. But I may go out there because they're, you know, 10 feet apart and 12 feet apart. And we always have been fairly far apart, and we just won't hug. And so I'm thinking about uh, doing that as well, but but with a mask. With a mask. Yeah, well, to, to, protect, to protect other people. And you, I know that's the reason are, you would wear one, John. Is you are to such a other generous people. guy. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but then I, I require... Uh, I would be very disappointed if you didn't wear a mask if we got together because then, you know, I would not feel very well taken care of. And I know that you like to take care of people as well. I do. I don't want you to get anything nasty and especially, no bugs, no virus. Especially Nothing. since I'm the only one who knows how to actually work the recording. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that would make a difference. Right. It would. Well, anyway, well, John, I think we've exhausted this, haven't we? Oh, I don't know, Art. I'm still pretty excited to continue <laughs> talking about it. Oh, yeah, let's go. What else can we say? Art? Uh, so, uh, it's me saying goodbye. Great to see you again, John, always. Um, and let's see if we can figure we, out. Hug, 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 hug. And yeah. wait, get the right hand. Your, your left hand. No, your, no your, right, your right hand. There you go. <laughs> Good. Okay. We'll get this. So, before we go, I just want to say to everybody who's watching, is, is please be responsible, uh, wear a mask, stay socially distant, um, and let us know how you're doing. If you're um, maybe getting together more and uh, taking off the masks more, things like that, we'd like to we'd like to keep up with you. And by the way, if you know. haven't been to our YouTube channel, Celebrating Act Two, that's Celebrating Act with the number two. Go there. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. But there in the last month, maybe uh, uh, 15 or 20 new segments, and we've got some great regular contributors and some really great one-off things. We did one on Ross Costa. We did one with, uh, uh, for anybody who knows the name uh, locally, with Rick Sherman, who's a, a, a professional friend of ours. These are years. all big names yeah. that everybody will recognize. Right. Uh, well, no, not as big as John Coleman. Of the of the Coleman clan. Wait a minute! Didn't I already say goodbye? No, but you said hello. I have to say goodbye. Goodbye, John. Okay. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage. Follow us on Facebook. Subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.